Hello everyone, my name is Ross and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own modern lungs. Now, our lungs are inside our bodies, uh, sit inside our chest and we use them for breathing. So what I'd like you to do is to take a, a big deep breath and hold it. After three, one, two, three. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Okay, and let it out. Now, this model here is kind of like what our lungs look like inside. We have our trachea at the top, which is this bit inside our necks, where we draw the air in. Um, we then have these bits here called the bronchi, which splits it into our lungs, because we have two of them, which are hanging here like these balloons. Now, our lungs aren't made of muscle, they are just tissue, and it's this bit underneath here, called the diaphragm, which is the most important bit. When you took your deep breath, you felt that moving uh, downwards to change the shape of your chest and draw that air in. Then when you relax, it moves back up and pushes the air back out. And that's how we breathe. So I can show you uh, show this happen by grabbing the diaphragm here, pulling it down, and we'll see that the lungs inflate, and pushing it back up again, and you can see that they deflate. So it's like inhaling and exhaling. So in order to make your very own set on a slightly smaller scale, what you're going to need is a 500 milliliter bottle, which has been cleaned and edited. Uh, you're also going to need a large blue. The colour doesn't really matter, but this is going to be your diaphragm. You're going to need a smaller uh, red blue. Again, the colour doesn't really matter. This is going to be our lung. You're going to need a straw, some blue tack, some tape, and some scissors. So, step one take your bottle, remove the cap and use your scissors uh, and we're going to cut the bottle two thirds of the way down so we're taking the bottom third off uh, scissors are sharp so ask for an adult's help if you need it there we go next thing to do is make a hole in our lid Again, using our scissors, be careful, and just pierce through and give it a little twist. You want to make the hole big enough for our straw to fit through, like so. The next step is to take our red balloon, or the small balloon, which is going to be our lung, and tape it onto the end of the straw. We're doing this so that it's airtight. And that's us more than halfway there already. Next thing to do is to put the lung into the bottle and screw the cap back on. And then we're going to take some of our blue tack and make the cap airtight. Plasterzine would work as well. Let's make sure that there's no gaps around the top here. Next thing to do is take our diaphragm or the big balloon, cut off the end, perhaps you'll find this easier than me, there we go, and the last step is to pull this on over the bottom of your bottle.